Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. Um, before I begin, Chris and I have just been eating two of the recipes that I have just made for this video. Um, they're the last two I'm going to show and I feel like I haven't done them justice in the presentation sense, but they're really nice, aren't they? I wasn't even going to show you because you had your top off, but you've just come into the video. So anyway, that was his choice. So definitely watch till the end because the last two are similar, but I've done a savory and a sweet version of it. And they're really, really good. I've seen other people do it, these recipes, and I wanted to try it in the air fryer. I did. It worked perfectly, but my presentation wasn't so great. <laughs> But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing five air fryer recipes with you all. As always, I'll write down the quantities and timings down below in my description box so you can recreate these recipes at home. I really hope you enjoy these. Thank you, as always, for watching. I'll also link the air fryer I am using down below in my description box. But just wanted to say, obviously, air fryers vary, like from air fryer to air fryer. So the timings I'm giving you are for my air fryer. The one I have is by Instant Brands and it does preheat itself as well. So the timer only starts going down once it's at temperature. So if your air fryer doesn't preheat, you might wanna add a couple of minutes onto your cooking time. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. But with all of that said, I'm just gonna jump straight on into these recipes. I hope you enjoy them and let's get cooking. Okay, so what we're gonna make here is some courgette chips or zucchini chips, I think that's zucchini, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I call them courgette chips. So I've got two courgettes, this one's tiny, but anyway, I'll use it anyway. I've got one egg and then in here I have grated some normal cheese, but you can use Parmesan if you'd prefer. It works with so many different cheeses. I've got some breadcrumbs and then I've also just got a little bit of this garlic salt in here as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop them straight into my air fryer um, basket once I've coated them. I'm just gonna whisk up my egg and then I will just chop my courgette into, I'll like top and tail them, then I'll cut them into little rounds before popping them into my whisked egg and then into my breadcrumb cheese and salt mixture. I will make sure they're coated really, really nicely in the breadcrumbs before popping them into my air fryer. Ideally, just lay them out so they have a little bit of breathing space between them. But alternatively, if you want to make loads, then pop them in there and then just shake them up halfway through. I'm going to put these into my air fryer at 190 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes, but I am going to mix them halfway through just to make sure the warm air is evenly distributed through them. After the 10 minutes is up, as you can see, the courgettes are beautifully cooked and they honestly are a great alternative to crisps. Alright, so what I'm going to make here is some coconut prawns. So what I've got in here is one egg and then I've got coconut cream. So it's not coconut milk, it's, um, it's this, it's coconut cream. So it's a little bit thicker than the milk. It's almost like the kind of more watery part has been taken out of the coconut milk. Then in here I've got some breadcrumbs and then this is desiccated coconut and then I've also got some uncooked prawns. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix my egg and my coconut cream together and then I'll get my prawns, dip it into the coconut and egg mixture and then I will put it into the breadcrumb and desiccated coconut mixture and coat it really well before popping it all into the air fryer on 160 degrees centigrade just for six minutes. This will cook your prawns to perfection. It'll also toast the breadcrumbs a little bit so it has a nice little crunch to it when you bite into them. This is just a really nice different way to serve up your prawns. So we are going to be making some banana muffins. So what I have got in here already is 250 grams of self-raising flour. I've got a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, 110 grams of um, caster sugar. Oh, forgot my butter. I'm going to put in 75 grams of butter. And then I've got a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, two large ripe bananas, 
125 ml of milk, which is just here, and I'm gonna pour that in, but let me just quickly add my butter and come straight back to you. Right, so now my butter is in there, I'm just gonna pour my milk in, and then what I'm gonna to do to this, I have just got a little like handheld beater there, and then I've got these silicon um, cupcake holders. These are great because they're reusable, and you can put them in like oven at really high temperature, and they are great. And they also hold the cupcake shape really well too. So I'm gonna mix this mixture up, and then once it's mixed I'll put them into my little cupcake holders and then I'm just going to pop them into the air fryer on 160 degrees centigrade for 16 minutes once the 16 minutes is up as you can see they are just cooked to perfection and that's it ready to enjoy with a cup of tea or coffee okay so this is going to become two separate recipes actually but I'm kind of using the same ingredients um, so I wanted to show you them together so this is going to be a savory one so what I've got here is a short crust pastry you can use short crust or um, puff totally up to you I've got one of those and then I'm just going to split that in half to do the savory and the other half will do the sweet for the savory I've got um, a red onion just sliced into quite thin pieces as you can see there and then I've got some garlic salt and this balsamic glaze and then for the sweet ones I've got some sliced peaches in a tin and some honey so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my short crust pastry out and I'm going to halve it so half like I said will be for the savory and half will be for the sweet then in each half I'm going to cut each half into four and I'm going to make four pastries of each so I'll lift each fourth up and then underneath that, for the savoury one, I'll pop some balsamic glaze down, lay my red onions down, and then pop a little bit of the garlic salt on top before covering it with my short crust pastry. I'm then just gonna get a little bit of milk and just brush that over the pastries before popping them into my air fryer on 190 degrees centigrade for 12 to 15 minutes. Pop it on for 12 first of all, and then just see how they're going, but you might wanna do them for a few more minutes. Now we're going to move on to the sweet one. So I'm going to do exactly the same process, but I'm going to start with putting some honey on the bottom. Then I'm going to lay my sliced peaches down on top of my honey before covering it with a short crust pastry. And then once again, popping it into the air fryer on 190 degrees centigrade for 12 to 15 minutes. You basically just need to air fry this for as long as it takes for the pastry to cook. Once again, once your time is up, Open up your air fryer, flip your little pastries over, and here you have a really delicious sweet treat. So those are the five recipes I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you enjoyed them. Chris is still enjoying the um, peaches recipe that I just shared. So yeah, let me know if you give these a try and what you think of them. And thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.